Hi everyone, it's Monday the 20th of November 2023 and today is my birthday and so firstly if anybody shares a birthday with me I'd like to wish you all a wonderful day and may all your dreams come true in the year ahead and if it's not your birthday today then I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and also may all your dreams come true. So where better place to be than on the Thames foreshore on a birthday? on any day for that matter and the tide's on the way out it's absolutely beautiful the sun is out and so let's go and see if the thames is going to leave us out any little gifts right let's do it let's get on with it time and tide waits for no man well look what we've got here a beautiful gift from the river thames it's the handle part of a handle of an old knife. It's missing the other side. But that's pretty, isn't it? And it would have helped whoever was holding it grip it really well with that crosshatch design there. So maybe from a, a fisherman or a, a dock worker, a ship breaker of the past. Very nice. over how clean this foreshore is. It's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's have a little look down here. A little look. What's this? Um, hmm, possibly a button. Lots of lovely nails. Now, if you see something, please give me a shout. You may have to shout quite loud. So many bits of lead as well. Oh, what's that? Nothing. And look, there's a lovely splash of colour here. A splash of blue in the mud. Nice piece of Victorian transfer wear. Look at this. It's like an old safety pin, isn't it? Yeah, still in. Very good working order, actually. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Now, I've seen something here which is just uh, eroding out. Now, it could very well be plastic. Yeah, it is, but I don't know what it is. It could be something vintage. <laughs> Let's take a look. Hmm, what is that? Let's give it a little rinse. so weird, isn't it? It's so strange. It's the thing with writing on the roof. Even if it is plastic. Vintage plastic by the looks of it. Yes, look, white. Right. Kiwi white. Kiwi white. Maybe it's some kind of uh, polish or something. I don't know why. 
Um, I think that was in my life. This is it. Okay, well, you are plastic. You're coming home with me, and I want to find out what kiwi white is or was. It's quite funny, my daughter has just rung me from Leeds, where she's at university, to wish me a happy birthday, and um, we were just laughing because I've come to the same spot that I used to bring her as a little girl, and she used to uh, not really enjoy mudlarking, and she used to just flop down in the mud to sabotage the outing. So that made us chuckle a little bit. Interesting piece of uh, something here, tile or something, 206 on it. Where does the time go? Where does it go? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. How fast time flies. It really does, doesn't it? So, I've just seen something down here, rather cute. I don't know if you can see it there. It's just in the water, actually. Have a little look, see if you can see it. It's just here. Look, it's a little horse head, a little lead horse head. From a little lead toy. We so often just find the heads where do all the bodies go? Ha ha! I have spotted something round. It could be a coin. Maybe it's not. Just here, look. Oh, oh, it's not a coin, you know. It's not a coin. It's actually some kind of badge. So there's some uh, enamel on there. So I can't see what it is, but I can see the crown. So a pin or a badge. Come and see what I've just spotted down here. Look at this. It looked as if it could be a bottle stopper. No, no, it's not. It's a bead. Look at that. That is a beautiful bead. Look at all those little facets. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I could even have a necklace made out of that. I think it's going to have to be a bead in the sun shot. So pretty. Gorgeous. down here. I can see it's got something on it. But what? Ooh. National mixture. What's that for, I wonder? Do you know? It's cool. I like that. I just uh, lifted this stone up here and there's a coin underneath. I haven't actually picked it up yet though, so I thought we could see together, or try and see what it is. So that is a sixpence. It's a sixpence. Queen Elizabeth II. Very nice. 
I'm taking a little walk along the foreshore here towards a, a pier, like a really old wharf, and underneath there are some carvings. I, I don't know how old they are, maybe early 1900s, I'm not sure, but it's been a while since I visited them, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. It's really noisy over there because it's just next to the factory, so I probably won't do much talking over there. But anyway, come along with me and take a look at these carvings in the pier and let me know what you think. So here we are onto the pier. I'm going to show you the first face. It might have worn it really thin actually, but the details may have been worn away. It's been so long. Oh yeah, you can hardly see the face. It was here. I'll see if I can find a photo to show you the comparison. And on the other side, there is the face of an old man. There he is. Quite spooky, isn't it? There he is, look. I can still make him out okay. them. What is that stuck onto this pier? Goodness me. It looks like a big fender, doesn't it? Now, I always love a good button find. And I detect a button down here. Definitely a maker on there. Alvarez, I think. I'll have a closer look when I get home. Treasures. So I'm really looking forward to getting these home and having a quick look. I can see that the button does actually say Alvarez Woolwich. Not sure what that is. So anyway, ooh, I'd rather get these in my bag before they get washed away. And I'll see you back there. Hi everyone, I am freshly back from the foreshore. Hello to you all. And I'd like to say a big thank you for accompanying me down to the foreshore for my birthday mudlark. I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be on this particular day. And I've set myself a challenge now to try and put this video out today. So that is quite a challenge because usually I spend absolutely hours and hours on my videos. And so this one won't be quite as polished as usual. At least I like to think that they're usually quite polished. There won't be any music or anything like that. But um, never mind. I've got a couple of hours before some of my friends are coming and we're going out for something to eat. So I'm going to try and finish this, finish the editing, save the file and upload it to YouTube. Will I be able to do it? Well, if you're watching this now, I will have been able to do it. But if you're not watching this now, well... Well, I, I didn't do it, and um, yes, anyway, stop waffling, Nicola. So I do have next to me here a handful of finds, and I need your help. I need your help because I did have a quick look, but I drew a blank on this. I must admit, I haven't spent a great deal of time looking to see if I can find out what it is, because I've got to get ready in a minute, but um, I'm hoping... I'm really hoping that you out there can help me. This little pin with the crown on the top, I shall put a photo on the screen. It's um, got some blue enamel on it and I think it may have MSC on it. MSC. Now, can any of you identify this? If you can, please enlighten us in the comments below. I would be very, very grateful. I really hope that we can get an ID on this today. 
whilst I'm out having my dinner. Right, um, I hope that's not too cheeky, getting everybody else to do the work. So this piece of glass here, which is really nice, isn't it? National Mixture. Now I did have a quick Google of this and apparently it is some kind of petrol. So maybe this came from part of a window or something, but I rather like it. I rather like it. I, I might make a little feature of it somewhere. National Mixture. So petrol that I believe was from the 1920s, 1930s, correct me if I'm wrong. This button, a lovely button here. Now I have actually found some buttons from this tailor before. It's Alvarez from Hare Street in Woolwich. And I did have a quick look in the newspaper archives and discovered an article um, about somebody who had fallen off a ladder when they were actually cleaning the windows of Alvarez's tailors. And also some nice old adverts from the early 1920s. So that's Alvarez of Hare Street in Woolwich. Always fun to find buttons with names on and to try and track down the tailors or the outfitters. I've got my little sixpence, which is from 1959. And by the way, that's not the year I was born. 1959, sixpence, Queen Elizabeth II. Really cute little lead horse head. I've got quite a few little horse heads. And you know, bizarrely, really strangely, I was out mudlarking um, yesterday, funnily enough. Um, I do go quite a lot. Uh, and I found a horse skull. I haven't actually made a video about that yet. But uh, yeah, so yesterday I found a horse skull, a massive great skull. And today a lead horse head. So it's a week of horse heads. Not quite sure what that means, really. And this, I think this is probably my favourite find, actually, this beautiful bead. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? I may see if my friend Wendy can make something with it, some kind of little necklace, or see if she can incorporate it into something. Um, and then I could wear that. So I'm looking upon that as my special birthday gift from the River Thames like a diamond, isn't it? Lovely diamond. And then this weird bottle here, weird grubby bottle, but it's got kiwi white on it. And I did have a Google and it seems as if kiwi was a, a shoe polish. In fact, it may well still be a shoe polish, but I still think this is sort of vintage, even though it's, you know, it's not uh, tin or or anything, it's, it's plastic, but it looks sort of vintagey to me, maybe mid 1900s. So kiwi white, kiwi white, meet Nick white. I think that's everything. I haven't missed anything there, have I? So a nice little handful of finds from the River Thames for my birthday. Thank you very much, River Thames. And so thanks very much for watching. I'm gonna try and put this all together now and get it out there for you to watch this evening. Um, by the way, I put a community post on YouTube yesterday to say that I wouldn't have a video out yesterday on Sunday the 19th of November. And I mentioned that the person who has won the anchor chain has not actually contacted me. So they probably have not watched the video where I announced the winner. And I made a mistake in my post because I said that I announced it in last week's video when I was out with Flory and Cece. Now it wasn't that video, it was when I was um, doing the Coca-Cola bottle outing in the USA and I announced the winner. So listen, if you haven't watched that video, then do watch it because you could have won an anchor necklace. And if you don't um, get back to me in another week, then I'm have, going to have to do a redraw. So everybody, that is pretty much it. I am going to go and have a shower, put a bit of makeup on, put a dress on or something. I'm gonna go out for a nice little birthday meal with my friends. And so I hope that you go on to have a lovely evening or a lovely day, whatever you're doing. 
and wherever you are. And this is a really good opportunity maybe for me to just say a huge thank you to everybody for all the support that you have shown me over the last year, over the last previous years. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for your support and your encouragement, your lovely emails, your lovely comments. You know, they really do, um, you know, they really just do help me such a lot to keep doing these videos and um, I'm very, very grateful to you all. So thank you for watching and I wish you much love from here in London and may all your dreams come true. See you soon. Bye-bye.